Hi, Peter here. Last week we posted a lot of possible designs for future stamps on Snagit Guide. In this video I will present the winner of the votes and try to show you a few tricks on what you can do with Snagit stamps. First off, a big thanks to everybody that voted. We got over 300 votes, which is the most comments that we ever got and a fantastic input for our stamp making. Many people raved on how many nice stamps there was and how difficult to choose, but a few stamps got more votes than others, and I'll try to present them here. We have Pack Super Stamps version 2 with 654 distinct icons, so hopefully there is a lot of useful graphics for everyone. I'll try to demonstrate a few stamps for both fun and work, but first let's take a look at the winners. Here we are in the Snagit editor. Super stamps will work in all Snagit versions, including the not yet released Mac version. So what stamps was the most popular? And I have a little series that is also included in Super Stamps 2 called Neon Rectangles. And we'll choose the red one. Here we have the stamp. Point you to one of the most well-liked ones, the number 3. Very popular. Not one of the winners, but very popular. And another runner-up is number 22. Uh, let me show you a little trick here. Uh, you saw how big it is. If I uh, stamp in a new stamp here, it becomes very big. But I have a, a size that I like, so I mark it. I press Ctrl Copy and Ctrl Paste, and I get a similar size one. And now I can freely choose another stamp and get the same size. So I want that one green. Then I scroll down to number 22 and I drag it down and there we have it. So now we got an identical size. That's a little neat trick that you can use. And that, that's the way I created these numbers that you see uh, on the voting and uh, the 24 numbers. These numbers are also included in Super Stamps 2 but they are much larger. For example, uh, let's take away that one and we go to numbers and you have here from 0 to 100 well, if my math isn't all wrong would be 101 stamps with numbers for you uh, so for instance if you were to create a quick series of numbers doing a tutorial or something and you want to number things you want them in a specific size let's say that size and do like that copy and you paste and you paste and you paste and then you mark and then you just choose your number and voila you have a quick series of identical sized stamps uh, with numbers okay let's go on to the winners of the competition uh, the second winner and uh, one that we have created now, uh, we have been working day and night to create a series of stamps for you, including the two winners. And the second runner-up is number 15, the one that I call Dark Glass. So let's give it a little prize. And I will pick a prize from a series I call Jelly. And what do we have a little, there we have a little prize. There, ta da! You see that it's a little transparent, meaning you can see through it a little bit. We put that on number 15. Here they are. If you want to get a little overview of what's included in the dark glass series, here you have them. They're all 417 size, so they're much larger than what you see here. Uh, the real size is something like that and they have a shadow built in so you get this sense of depth in them they work a little bit better on lighter backgrounds than on darker so and they will work down to very small shapes okay so uh, to the winner the winner of the series is number 18 yep here we have number 18 and uh, let's give it a prize from jelly again and let's give it a big price uh, so again I want to thank everybody for for being part of this boat and showing what stamps are great and helping us in developing this product so it becomes something that a lot of people have a lot of use for I actually I was putting my belief in number 15 being uh, the first choice 
but there you see it's great to to develop products and uh, all of your help so i wanted to take this opportunity to show you a few stamp tricks and at the same time showcase a few of the 654 stamps included in super stamps 2. so i have taken a screenshot of amazon.com here let's say that you wanted to give a huge impact to something on the screen you go to the stamps you have taken your screenshot and you choose the dark glass series and you choose the one of the arrows uh, we have included a lot of arrows because I think that arrows is often very useful and you see I'm hoping this is looking professional and that you can use it for a lot of things so you want to show the Roman the history of warfare the Romans another example of an arrow is straight down dark glass too Want to showcase something else we have the uh, numbers we have a lot of blank but bu button so you can use these uh, and place a text uh, using the snagit text tool right on top of it and you can also change the size of all the stamps of course do a shadow on a stamp you could for instance copy it you paste it in and they're all you can all mirror them horizontally or vertically so you want to do a little shadow on this one and all of them are possible to do more or less transparent so nice alamac effect like that Glass circle, more arrows, and other symbols that you can use. You question something. Now it comes out transparent because our last choice was transparent, but we will go to transparency and put it to max. So these, are, you see, are highly transparent. You can put them on top of stuff you want to question. They're still visible. You can add a shadow effect if you want. Um, and since it's transparent the shadow goes through all of it so it, g it gets really another color so there you want to question something or you want to tell people to look into something oh there there we see it so there are some of the uh, glass uh, circles we have arrows and road signs a few more uptrend downtrend and so on we have text bubbles with already uh, inserted text that you can use these are great for pictures if you, you want to put on top of a picture for somebody to enlarge so you see it's transparent as well but still very visible now it became distorted because the previous one was distorted if I go back on that and I place I click somewhere else on the screen and there I have a chance to place it out there we go confirm yeah as you can see we have a lot of different ones this is something that was requested earlier a lot of teachers use it and what do we have more technology 57 stamps technology and the jelly ones the winner red arrow next one here maybe mother wants a kinder so. there's no better way to say it than it's super stamps too we have Symbols. This is a huge folder, 130 additional icons. Here's one I like, Pottery. Uh, you see, uh, it's a lot of them. Thank you for watching, and I hope you got some new stamp tricks up your sleeve. Please check back on Tuesday, May 11th, to see how you can get Super Stamps 2 as a free bonus.